GPT-4 Vision was launched six months ago and many YouTube videos have covered this. But up until now, I haven't seen any video that is using GPT-4 Vision in a real business process. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what GPT-4 Vision is, why you need to use it and how you can create your own GPT-4 Vision chatbot for a real business. And at the end, I will even give you the template for free so you don't have to build anything yourself and you can just copy and paste it. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Joran and I'm the founder of Chatomize. And at Chatomize, we are inspiring over 50,000 people every month to create chat automations that generate more leads, boost revenue and reduce costs. And we are working with businesses from small to large and in any industry. So if you just follow the steps in this tutorial, it will work for your business as well. So what is GPT-4 Vision? GPT-4 Vision is one of the new open AI models that can understand images. So you can basically give it an image and give it a prompt and then it can automatically answer any questions about that image. And this is great because businesses can actually save a lot of time and money by using GPT-4 Vision because normally, Employees need to look at those images, but now AI can do the work for you. And with that being said, here's what we're going to build today. We are going to build a WhatsApp chatbot for a car insurance company. And what normally happens with a car insurance company is that a car gets broken, the customer needs to file a claim saying that the car has damages, and then a car insurance agent need to look at those damages and need to determine what they are going to do with it. And we can actually make this process way better by using a GPT-4 vision chatbot on WhatsApp. And how is this going to work is that instead of filling in a boring form, what the customer can do is they can just text that business on WhatsApp. And then on WhatsApp, they can send the image of the damaged car. Then GPT-4 Vision can automatically analyze that image and can determine if the car has any damages. And if the car has any damages, it can already list the damages and can verify these damages with the customer. And this has three benefits. First, Customers can talk with a WhatsApp chatbot instead of filling in a boring form. So this improves the customer experience. Second, the chatbot can list all the damages and return these back to the customer. And then we can ask the customer, okay, did we have a full analysis or did we miss any of the damages? And if we missed any of the damages, then the customer can give extra information about their claim. So this actually improves the process. And third, it can actually save a lot of time and money for the car insurance company. Because normally a car insurance agent needs to look at all the information, needs to look at the images, needs to list the damages and determine what they are going to do with those damages. But now the AI can already do a large portion of that. It can already look whether the car is damaged, list all the damages, and then the car insurance agent already gets a full analysis and only needs to determine what they are going to do with those damages. And to create this functionality, we actually need three things. The first thing that we need is the OpenAI API. Because we're going to use the GPT-4 vision model, we need to talk with the OpenAI API. Second, we're going to use ManyChat to send and receive all the messages on WhatsApp. And third, we're going to use make.com, which we're going to use to connect ManyChat to open AI. Let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to create your own WhatsApp chatbot. And I've already created a video on my YouTube channel that exactly tells you how you can grab any phone number and connect that to a WhatsApp chatbot by using ManyChat. So in today's video, I'm not going to do that again, but if you haven't created a WhatsApp chatbot with ManyChat yet, I highly recommend checking out the video that probably appears over here. And to be clear, the setup that we're going to build today can be used on any channel. So on my channel, I've also have other videos on creating Instagram chatbots, Facebook chatbots, AI chatbots on your website. And this setup, what we're going to use today can be used on any of those channels. But today I'm just going to use the WhatsApp chatbot that I already created before. So that's the first step that you need to do. You need to create your own WhatsApp chatbot with ManyChat. And once you have done that, we can get started with creating our WhatsApp automation. So in our WhatsApp automation, we are going to ask for someone's email, we're going to ask for the image of the car, then we're going to send over the data to OpenAI via Make, 
then OpenAI looks at the image and determines whether the car is damaged or not. And if it is damaged, it can list all the damages. And then we're going to send back that information to ManyChat and handle the rest of the conversation with the customer. And to create this automation, we actually need to store some data in ManyChat fields. So that's what we're going to create first. We're going to create some ManyChat fields. So here in ManyChat, you can just go to settings and then you can go to fields. And then here you can click on new user field. So the first field that we are going to create will be to store the image of the car. So I will just call this file claim and then car image. So that will be the first one, create. Then the second user field will be file claim car image analysis. And this is the field that will be filled by OpenAI. And lastly, we have one user field to store the extra information from the customer. So we're going to give back the analysis of OpenAI and then we're going to ask, okay, did we miss anything? And if the customer says that the AI tool missed anything, they can add extra information. And that's what we're going to store in this field. So we will call this file claim extra info. So in general, we have three fields. We have one field for the image of the car, one field for the car image analysis, which will be done by OpenAI, and one field for extra information by the customer. So now that we created this, we can just go to automation and click on new automation and then click on start from scratch. So in ManyChat, each automation starts with a trigger. And in this case, we want to start the automation when somebody says something related to filing a claim. So we can just click on new trigger, click on WhatsApp and then click on user sends a message. And then we'll go with detect specific words in a message. And then we're going to say if the message contains file and if the message contains claim, then we're going to start this automation. So here I can click on create. And then our first thing will be a WhatsApp message. And here we're going to say, and I will just copy this from my second screen, to get started with your claim, we need some information from you. And then we can add a user input and just say, what is the email associated with your car insurance policy. Then we'll set the reply type to email and then it will automatically be saved to the system field in ManyChat. So an email is the system field, so there's a built-in field in ManyChat. So then when someone gave their email, we can connect them to another message and then we can say, could you also send an image of the damaged car? So we actually need to use an user input for this. So I'll just delete this one. And we can say, could you send an image of the damaged car? The reply type will be image. And we will, are going to save this response to the custom field we created before. So this will be file claim car image. And then done. And as a next step, we need to send over this data to OpenAI. And in order to connect ManyChat to OpenAI, we're going to use Make. And Make is an integration platform that you can use to connect applications with each other without using any code. And in today's tutorial, we are going to use Make to connect ManyChat to OpenAI. So if you haven't used Make before, what you can do is you can just go to chatomize.com slash make and here you can register for a Make account and this will actually give you one month of the pro plan for free if you're using the link in the description. So I highly recommend doing that and Make also has a free account. So even if you're using the pro account for one month, you can actually switch to the free account as well. So I have already have Make, so I'll just go to my Make account here. Then we can go to scenarios and then we can click on create a new scenario. So a scenario in Make is a connection between two applications. So in this case, ManyChat and OpenAI. And each scenario starts with a trigger. And in this case, the trigger will be ManyChat. So as the first step in our scenario, we are going to select ManyChat, click on it, and then click on watch incoming data. And then here you need to click on create a webhook. And then here I already have a connection with my ManyChat account. But if you don't have that, you can just click on add and then give this the same name as your ManyChat account. So I would just call this Chatomize account. And then here you need to fill in your access token. And your access token is actually the API token you have from ManyChat. So if you go back to ManyChat, go to settings. And if you scroll down, then here you have your API key. So you can just copy this and paste that over here and then click on save. 
And now that connection is created. So now I can also give my webhook a name. So we are going to do file claim with open AI and then click on save and then click on OK. And then if we go back to our many chat automation, what we can do is we can add a next step, add an action, click on the action here, click on make, click on trigger make. And then if you scroll down then here you have file claim with open AI. So what now happens is that every time someone says something to our WhatsApp chatbot that contains file and claim, we're going to say, okay, what is your email? Uh, what is the image of the damaged car? And then we're going to trigger make, which will send over the data to open AI. So what we actually need to do now is we need to click on set live and we need to let make know what data we will be working with. So in order to do that, we can click on run once here and then I'm going to go to my WhatsApp chatbot and here I'm going to say file a claim. Then it says to get started with your claim, we need some information from you. What is the email associated with your policy? So then I just fill in my email. Then it says, could you send an image of the damaged car? So then I will just send an image that I have on my computer. So this car is pretty damaged. And then if we go to make, then you will see that it is getting the data. And sometimes it can take a second, but it should be getting the data. And now make has got the data from ManyChat. So if you click on this, then you can see all the data from the subscriber, all the custom fields, all the bot fields that we have. So that is working. So the next step is that we actually need to send this image to OpenAI. And in order to do that, you need to have an OpenAI account. So what you can do is you can just go to platform.openai.com and then there you can just create your own account. Once you've done that, what you need to do is you need to go to settings and then go to billing. And what's important is that you have some balance in your OpenAI account, otherwise this will not work. I now have like $4 in my account, which is enough to test this integration, but just make sure that you have some money in there. So once you've done that, what we can do is we go to make, we can click on the plus here, and then we can say open AI. And then what we can do is we can click on analyze images. And this is using the vision model, the GPT-4 vision model. And if you haven't connected make to open AI yet, you can just click on add. And I'll just call this the channelize connection. And then we need to have an organization ID and an API key. So I'll just start with the organization ID. So if you go to open AI, then here we have the organization and then here you have your organization ID. So we can just copy and paste that. And we also need to create an API key. So if you just go to API keys over here, click on create new secret key. So this will be the GPT tutorial key. Click on this and I can just copy this and then paste that over here. Click on save. And now that is created. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a prompt. And I already created a prompt for this. So if we go to this document, then here we have the prompt. And just to make sure you also will get this prompt when you just download the template with the link in the description. So this is a really simple prompt. So it will just say, act as a car insurance agent. You will get an image of the car. You need to determine if the car is damaged or not. If the car is damaged, reply with, it seems that the car is damaged and then give a thorough examination of the damages and list every damage to the car and estimate how severe the damage is. If the car is not damaged, reply with, it seems that the car is not damaged. And if you cannot determine if the car is damaged, say, I cannot help with this request. Never use more than 2000 characters in your answers. And I say this because on WhatsApp, you have a 2000 character limit per message. So that's the reason I added that as well. So we can just copy this, go back to make, add that as our prompt. And then we also need to add the image. So we can just click on add image here. And here you say, how would you like to specify an image? So we can specify an image URL. And then we need to use the image URL from ManyChat. So here we can just say file claim. So we can search in the ManyChat fields. And I have a lot of fields, so that's why it's taken a lot of time. But here it says like the file claim car image. So we can just click on that and then that will appear over there. And then we have the max tokens. So this is the maximum number of tokens to use in the completion. I'll just leave this empty, but you can also determine this yourself. So we can click on OK now. And that's basically it. So in order to test this out, I'm going to click on save and then click on run once again. And then we'll go back to WhatsApp and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to test this out. 
So fill my email and then provide an image of the car. So this will be the same image. And then we can go back to make. And then here we will be getting the data. So ManyChat has sent the data and is now sending the data to OpenAI. So now OpenAI has done this and then you can see that it has have a result and it says it seems that the car is damaged upon examining the images and then it says all the damages that it has to this car. So this is great, this is working. So the next step is that we need to send that back this information from OpenAI to ManyChat. And we are going to do that in two steps. First, we are going to save the analysis of OpenAI in the custom field that we created before, and then we're going to send a ManyChat automation. So what we can do here is we can click on ManyChat and then select set a custom field. So here we need to determine the subscriber ID. So we can select that from the first trigger. So this is the ID. Then we have the field ID. So here we can choose which field we want to use. So this will be the car image analysis and the field value will be the result that we have from OpenAI. So here we can just click on result. Then as a next step, we need to send a ManyChat automation. But before we can do that, we actually need to create that ManyChat automation. So if we go back to ManyChat, and I will also rename this flow so we have a good overview. So this will be file a claim. And now if we go back to automation, click on new automation, start from scratch. We will also rename this. So this will be the car image analysis. And as you can see from the prompt already, there are three things that can happen with the car. The car can be damaged, the car can be not damaged, and it could be possible that OpenAI cannot determine whether the car is damaged. And we can actually use that information in our ManyChat flow to personalize the conversation. So as a first step in our flow, what we can do is we can add a condition. And what we can do is we can filter on the car image analysis. So here we have the car image analysis. And if the car image analysis contains, and then we go back to the prompt. So we said, if the car is not damaged, reply with, it seems that the car is not damaged. So then we can say, okay, if the car image analysis contains the car is not damaged, then OpenAI thinks the car is not damaged. If that is the case, then we can send a WhatsApp message. And then we can say, and I will just copy this from my second screen. So then we can say our automatic analysis tool looked at your image and it seems that the car is not damaged. Do you want to proceed with this claim? Then we can say a button with yes proceed and we have a button with no. If they say yes proceed, what we're then going to do is we're going to add another WhatsApp message and then we are going to say thank you for sending over this information. One of our car insurance agents will look at this as soon as possible. And when they say no, then we say no problem. If you want to file another claim, just send a message here. So that's the first option. So this is when OpenAI thinks that the car is not damaged. Then we have the other option. The other option is also that OpenAI cannot determine whether the car is damaged. And then they are going to say, I cannot help with this request. So if it says, I cannot help with this request, then we're going to use that as well. So we are going to check on our other condition, which will be car image analysis. If that contains, cannot help with this request. If that's the case, then we're going to send them directly to a car insurance agent because then a person needs to look at that. So that's the other option. And then we have the third option. And the third option is that it can actually do a car image analysis and the car is actually damaged. So in that case, we're going to send a WhatsApp message. And then we're going to say, our automatic analysis tool looked at your car and this is our initial analysis. And then we're going to send another WhatsApp message that contains the fields, so the user fields. So then here you can click on a bracket or you can just type in a bracket and then type in car image analysis. And then this will say the complete analysis that OpenAI provided. And then lastly, we are going to ask them a question. So we are going to ask, 
Does this analysis include all the damages of your car? And then provide two buttons. Then we can say, yes, it does. And if they do that, then we're going to connect this button to the message that says, thank you for sending over this information. And we are going to provide a button with no, it doesn't. And if they click on this button, we are going to ask what information they would like to add. So here we can say, okay, what information would you like to add? In order to do that, we are going to use the user input element here. And then we have the car image, or we have the file claim extra info. And once they've provided that information, then we're going to say, thank you for sending over this information. One of our car insurance agents will look at this as soon as possible. And it's just one step that we need to add here, because if we're going to send this to a car insurance agent, we actually need to notify them. So in order to do that, we can add an action to this flow. And then we're going to live chat and then we're going to mark the conversation as open. So in many chat, we have two types of conversations. We have open conversations, closed conversations. Closed conversations are conversations that are handled by your chatbot. Open conversations are conversations that are handled by your live chat agent. So in this case, we're going to mark the conversation as open. Then we're going to add another action, click on live chat, and then say we're going to assign the conversation. So here we can assign the conversation to a specific team member or to a group of team members. So in this case, I would just add it to myself. And then lastly, we are going to notify the person or persons that are assigned. So here we can notify the SNEs and you can also determine which one of your team you want to be notified. So I can choose the whole team or I can choose only me. So I'll just go with the whole team now. And then I can also determine the notification text. So here I can say, full name uh, just filed a claim and then we can say here is the image of the car and then we can add that car image so the url to the car image so this will be file claim car image here's the analysis and then analysis and here is the extra information by the customer extra info. So now every time the information needs to be sent to a car insurance agent, they will actually get this notification text. And by using this text, they can actually get started with the insurance claim directly. So we can click on set live here. And the only thing that we need to do is we need to trigger this flow from make. So if we go back to make, then here we can click on add another module, select many chat, and then click on send a flow. And then here we're going to select the same subscriber ID as in the first message. So this will be here, the ID. And then here we need to input the flow ID. And the flow ID can be found in the URL bar of ManyChat. So if we go back to ManyChat, then here we have the URL bar and then you have like this content piece. We need to add that to make. So we can click here on paste and click on okay. Then click on save. And this should be working. So what now happens is that every time someone asks something with file claim, we ask for the email, ask for the image, and then OpenAI will look at that information and will do an analysis. And then once they gave the analysis, then if the car is not damaged, then we say it's not damaged. If we don't know whether it's damaged or not, then it will go to a car insurance agent. And if it is damaged, then we're going to provide a full analysis. So that is working. So what you need to do now is basically you only need to make sure that this is set to on and then we can start with testing on WhatsApp. So again, I will just file a claim. Then I fill in my email. Then I send an image of the damaged car. So I will now use another image. And then it says, our automatic analysis tool looked at your car and this is our initial analysis. It seems that the car is damaged. Upon examination of the vehicle provided in the image, the following damages are identified. Then it lists all the damages and then you can see that. And then it can ask, does this analysis include all the damages of your car? And if I say, no, it doesn't, then it asks, okay, what information would you like to add? So I can say, there's also a scratch on the bumper. 
And then it says, thank you for sending over this information. One of our car insurance agents will look at this as soon as possible. And then your agent will automatically get a notification from ManyChat and will also get an email in their inbox. And this is great because then you can go to ManyChat, go to the live chat, and then here you can see this conversation and then they can take over this conversation. So we can pause the automation here. And then we can say, hey, Joran here. Hey, Joran here, I can help you with filing your claim. I will look at this as soon. We'll look at this as soon as possible. Don't worry. And then you can actually take over this conversation. So it could be that you have additional questions. It could be that you just want to talk with the customer, you want to give them a good feeling, whatever it is. And once you've done that, you can just remove this, mark this as closed, and that was it. And that's basically how it works. So this is it. This is basically how you can create a GPT-4 vision chatbot. And to give you another good example, we can actually do it again. And I can also show you what happens if the car is not damaged. So in this case, what is the email associated? So this will info at chatomize.com. Could you send an image of the damaged car? Uh, yes, I can that. And then I'm going to send an image of an undamaged car. So this is like a good car. And then it says, our automatic analysis tool looked at your image and it seems that the car is not damaged. Do you want to proceed with this claim? And then I say no. And then it says, okay, no worries. If you want to file another claim, just send a message here. And that's it. That's how you can create a GPT-4 vision chatbot for a real business. And if you want to get started with this immediately, you can just download my template with the link in the description. And if you want to get more familiar with creating chatbots on WhatsApp by using ManyChat, I also have a beginner course on my website. So I highly recommend checking that out as well. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on using ManyChat, using OpenAI, using Make, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.